Hey there friends! Welcome back to Wrought Iron Farm. Today I'm making some wind chimes out of copper piping. We'd love it if you could give us a thumbs up and subscribe. It really helps us out. So here I'm just filing down the edges of the pipe so it's not so sharp. So now I'm going to be drilling holes into the piping, which is where I'll hang them from. You might notice I'm always putting on gloves. I have something called Raynos. It affects my hands and feet, and basically, even if it's not that cold outside, my hands get really cold and really painful, so I'm just always trying to protect them. I'm just knocking off some burrs that were produced when I drilled the holes. Now I'm just looking through our firewood rack for a couple pieces of wood that are about the size I had in mind.
right. So now it's time to assemble it all. I've got my copper pipe, my wood. I drilled um, some holes. I didn't film it, but you can see I drilled some holes in the wood where I'm gonna connect everything. I've got some copper wire, my wire cutters, and I've got some beads. I haven't quite figured out at this point how I'm gonna put that all together, but it's, uh, it's time to get crafting. So I forgot to drill a hole right in the center where I need to hang a string from. Um, since I already have the piping attached, it's going to be pretty awkward to do, but I'm going to knock that out right now. So this is my first attempt at hanging the center piece. I won't say that I had failures, but it was my first time doing a project like this and I had, you know, I had an image in my mind of how it would go and it didn't work out at all like I was thinking it would. So you're going to see I, I tried one thing, didn't quite work, I cut it all off. Tried the next thing, didn't quite work, um, and yeah, just uh, just some obstacles. But um, I learned a lot. I, I feel like the next the next one I do is gonna go so much easier because I'll have worked out all the the snags and all the tricky areas. So at this point, I wasn't really sure what to do. The wood was making a dull sound against the copper, not a bright sound like I wanted. So I decided to go back to the drawing board and use something metal. So I had these flower blanks 
Um, I'm going to just be hammer texturing them and then see if that produces the result I want. These also just had a few sharp edges I had to knock off. So for my next attempt, I decided to use this cotton rug warp, which is very strong because it's for it's for um, weaving rugs. And then I was having this trouble of the metal wasn't the the flower wasn't hanging level, like it was not hanging well in the center. So I tried to wrap it several different ways. I wasn't happy with any of them. The flower still wasn't hanging, you know, flat in the center. So this is my second to last design. I thought it was my final design. I wasn't super stoked about it, but I just went with it. It seemed to be what I could manage right now. The sound is really nice. I just wasn't pleased aesthetically with it. And so, drum roll, my final, final design is right here. I got the flower to hang flat um, with a bead up uh, above and below. And then the wood at the bottom I hung vertically so there's more surface area for the wind to catch. And I really like the sound. So I hope you enjoyed watching. I learned a ton. And if you would please like and subscribe, we'd appreciate it. And we'll see you on the next one.